shit. Y'all got lucky, fam. I did the wrong song yesterday. So you get in two John tracks back to back. What a time to be alive. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I just said in the cold open, I did the wrong video yesterday and that shit was fire. But like, this is the actual video that was requested on Patreon, Blue. And I saw that there was an acoustic version and I saw that there's an original and I figured I might as well listen to the original first and then I'll listen to the acoustic second because obviously it's a different vibe. But I was crazy impressed, obviously. Obviously, if you saw the last video of this dude, because like, yo, those bars though. But what's crazy about it is that everybody said that he doesn't even, he doesn't even rap. Like that's not even his thing. He's just flexing on the fact that he can write raps and you're lucky that he doesn't. And when I mean you're lucky, I mean rappers are lucky that he doesn't. But because he doesn't rap, I'm not expecting this track to be a rap track. If it is, you know, I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I'm assuming that he wanted me to get the essence of who John is. And that means hearing a non-rap track. Let's just go ahead and throw these bad boys on. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links down in the description below. And let's get it. Messing with my pride, thinking oh, 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 I didn't realize the. I, I was expecting some type of intro in terms of the music, so. Alright, let's go. Messing with my pride, thinking anytime you could just get up and go. Then I realize what the hell is love if you're in complete control. Love bars right here, or, or agony bars, I guess you could say. What the hell is love if you're in complete control? Like love is a give and take, it's a tango, it's a two way street. Some other cliche about like how, how two people have to come together. There's gotta be sacrifice, there's gotta be compromise, and it's not love if you're in complete control. Bar. If you're in complete control. In the, in the right ear, that was tight. And I don't know like the type of music that this is. It's like kind of electronic. It sounds like it fits the artwork. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's like kind of futuristic, but it's also kind of electronic. Got this little electric feel, just like just like the artwork does. It sounds tight though, I like it. And then that little doo -doo 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 in the ear. Man, that's already my favorite part of the production so far. Right here. That transition, bro, that transition into the next portion of the song. Like he slowed his tempo down and then like kind of drug it out and then we went into, ooh, that was clean. The dude's got range on his voice for sure. Like if that's him singing, which I want to say that it is, obviously, definitely a singer for sure. Definitely a vocalist. And so far I understand why y'all say that this dude is a talent because the bars were fire last time. His singing is fire this time. And then on top of that production, if, if he produced it, the production kind of sounds like not radio production pop. It's like kind of experimental electronic pop, which is tight. I like that. Fighting it is hopeless, sinking in your ocean, just like oh. you designed me to do. Fighting it is hopeless. I'm sinking in your ocean, just like he designed me to do. Like yo, my, I was I was destined to fall for you, even if it's not good for me. Shit's good. Shit's good. Sinking in your ocean, just like he designed me to do. Fall into your blue. Sunrise in your bed, purple, yellow, red. Only when it's you. This is like. And I'm gonna I'm gonna compare him to this, and y'all might not like the comparison, but it's very 21 Pilots-ish. It reminds me of it reminds me of after chlorine when they switch and they go into the can you can you build my house with pieces? I'm just a chemical. When they switch into that part, that's what that reminded me of right there. And then we go back into the normal song, which is way faster paced. It's like more it's brighter compared to that. It was very melancholy. This song is definitely not written for the radio, and a lot of the times, most of the times, I would say the songs that are written not for the radio for the album, they're better than the songs that are. Written for the radio, and this right here is like that. Into your blue. In your bed, purple, yellow, red, only when it's you and me. Take me to the edge, drag me through your lens, show me what I need to see. 
and you say, take me to the edge, take me through your lens, show me what I need to see. Like I'm relying on you to show me like the way, the, the happiness, I'm relying on you to show me everything in the world. I wanna see it through your eyes. Again, just the way that he says it, it's not like show me the world through your eyes. It's just a more poetic way of saying the same thing. That's what makes a good songwriter a good songwriter is they're not, they're not straightforward and literal with it. It's just dope. Take me to the edge, me through your lens, show me what I need to see. that bro i've i love that that the bass line in it clean right here Just the transition into the hook. I don't even know if this is considered a hook. It could be a bridge between the two different verses. It might not even have an official hook, but just the transition where it slows down and it comes kind of dreamy and then boom, we get into the, we get into just the piano in his voice. Clean, uh, clean. And he said, come to my house and take me home. Like, let's go. The house is not a home without you in it. Like my home is wherever you are. So take me from my house and take me home. That's dope. And then avenues and lanes, parachutes and planes push me out. Away we go. That's fire. Like, like I need that extra push. Like, I'm, I'm kind of timid. Push me out and we'll go together. Dope. But the production to go into the chorus is my favorite so far. That guitar work. And the way that it like, the way that it sounds, it sounds like you're literally falling like in the ocean. And it sounds peaceful, like peaceful like the ocean waters are and push me into your blue, like it's, it's dope. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? Which is like, it's almost an exact comparison, but like in two different, completely different styles of singer and artist. This reminds me of Blue Ocean Floor by Justin Timberlake. It's the last, I think it's the last song on the first album of the 2020 experience, like in 2013, 2014. That's what this reminds me of. Cause that song also has that same kind of like very peaceful sound to it. We're talking about an ocean theme. That's the same peaceful, like content feeling that I get from the chorus of this song. <laughs> Fighting it is hopeless, sinking in your ocean, just like he designed me to do. Such a dope line. Oh. <laughs> Man, see, this is like the electronic side. This has very EDM type vibes. So when he said, this is what you designed me to do, and then it like cuts, like it kind of stutters on his voice with the production, then it goes into that. Oh, damn, just everything about the transitions of this song is perfect. Right here. different elements of the production that are happening right here like all of the different sounds from earlier in the song all coming together yeah it's like the last song at the end of the first act to hamilton non-stop when at the very end when all of the different characters all of their different sounds all of their different attitudes all combine and everybody's singing over over the top of each other because it's the end it's the final part of the first act yo it's got that this dude is like mad talented but just listen to like all the different production elements that are in this part of the song it's like the entire song comes together for the climax it's dope <laughs>
Yeah. Those horns set it off, son. Yeah. The two songs that I've done by this dude, complete 180s, complete opposite ends of each other. The production on the last track that we did was very lo-fi, very simple, very smooth. It was just a groove, a vibe. This one right here is like on the opposite end, especially toward the end, the production gets crazy heavy. It's clearly the climax of the track right there at the very end, yo. This song was dope too. I wanna listen to the whole album, but I kinda don't want to right now, only because I wanna react to him in the future, cause that shit was fire. But yo, that pretty much ends today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking and leaving comment down below. That stuff helps the algorithm push it out there to other people, so that way people can find the channel and find this song, and if they like it enough, they can subscribe. Also. So if you like what you see enough, now that we're at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family as well by yourself clicking subscribe. That shit means the world to me. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before my birthday, which is on June 26th. And we're almost at 83 right now. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel links down in the description below. Hit up the Discord. The Discord is also linked down in the description below. If you want to be able to talk to me, that's the best place to do it because I'm in there pretty much every evening trying to like just see what's up with everybody. But like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.